All right, guys, Project Turbo LS, uh, underhood lighting. So I've got a couple of incandescent bulbs in there. I'll just turn them on right now, as you can see. And as you can see also, there's not much light. So kind of sucks. So I wanted to find a solution where I wouldn't have to rewire everything, get different lights, etc., etc. So the actual solution, guys, is just get, let me just pull one of these out here. These bulbs here, you can see. Pull this guy out too, real time here. You just get replacement, hopefully you can see this. LED, 6K bulbs. So these things, 6,000 lumens each, if you can see that hopefully. But yeah, so it's uh, I'm gonna I'll put these in right now, and uh, we'll see how much brighter they are. Okay. So, anyways, I the guy at the parts store didn't even know these existed, and as you can see, they look the bottom fits into your standard like these guys here, the incandescent ones. It's exactly the same, but they're LEDs, and they're 6K lumens in intensity, so way way brighter than these little. 12 volt incandescent bulbs here. So the guy at the parts counter didn't even know these things existed. I asked him, do you have a replacement LED for these? He said, no. And then uh, I went to the light section and sure enough, Phillips, these guys were there. Of course, they're way more money. It's like $35 versus, you know, a couple bucks for these. But uh, this is the part number here. Hopefully you can see this. You can see that. Oh uh, yeah, it's 1156 WLED. So I'll put these uh, LEDs in and then we'll, uh, we'll see how much brighter they are. And again, it's just super easy because I just have to pop them in to where the other ones came out. All right guys, so I'm just gonna put these LED bulbs in here. So again, they're just exactly like the incandescent ones, the bottom of it, so it'll fit in to the existing incandescent holders. So I'll pop these in, super easy. One. Two. So let's just see how much brighter these suckers are. So I'll put it on, hopefully you can see this. Way brighter. <laughs> okay. So there we go guys. So LED uh, lights that just replace our incandescent units. So we can see the engine and everything, so that's nice. Yep, so that worked really good. So again, $35 Canadian, uh, a lot more money, but uh, definitely worth it. Since everything was wired, it's a lot easier. So I just basically screwed up, or basically took the old ones out and then just put the uh, 6K Lumen LEDs in there. So really good actually. So again, uh, easy solution, so just, uh, if you have incandescent bulbs um, and you want more light, just throw some uh, LEDs in there, just like that. And I'll go over here and I'll show you again. So those LEDs replace these guys here. I'm not even sure what number this is, but it's your standard 12 volt. We've got the LEDs in there and uh, way brighter, way better and uh, easy. So again, guys, just a little video I wanted to put together just to show you. And I didn't even know, the parts guy didn't even know these things existed. So, so LED replacement bulbs that replace your regular incandescent bulbs. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for the support and thanks for watching. We're putting new coils on this thing. They're coming tomorrow. So then we're going to be able to, final, to finally test this thing. So I think I was getting spark blowout because my spark plug gap was too big. And I've uh, lowered it now to 22,000 per hole on the spark plug gap. And then we get the new coils, 60,000 volts. These things are 20 years old, so I wasn't sure of the history. They do work, but again, I've only been up to about four PSI. So we're gonna get the new coils in here and then we're gonna actually test it with some, a lot more boost. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Again, just a video, LED lights, replacement, uh, replace uh, or take place of the old incandescent one and way brighter. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, thank you.